You've been teaching for 30 years. So how, how do you go yeah. from not being good at school to then teaching? <laughs> ah, how does that happen? Great question. Great Thank you. Question. <laughs> I love that. I actually relate better with children. Uh, it might explain a lot to my mentality. That's funny. Uh, I, I just, I think kids just give that fresh and honest perspective mm -hmm. about life. You know, I remember being that kid trying to explain that to my mom because some things she didn't understand. I was always her translator. That was the other thing. There oh. was the language barrier. Okay. So even though my parents were 20 years apart, different cultures, I always had to translate for my mom as a young kid. So you could say um, I'm kind of like that uh, social introvert. Uh -huh. I learned to be social because I had to translate for my mom, but internally I'm an introvert. I'm very shy. <laughs> really? But yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I get a lot of feedback from people and that's what inspires me. So I really enjoy now as an adult more so than I did when I was a kid. I did it out of uh, necessity when I was a child and now as an adult, I crave it. Okay. If that makes sense. Sure. Yeah. yeah. It's fuel to the fire, right? Yeah. And what was the reasoning behind teaching children or not even the reasoning? What was the, like, how did you just suddenly decide that that's what you were going to start doing? That was a slow migration. It was an evolutionary process. Um, to be fair, I went was in the club scene for a long time after I went to art school. So I was involved in the LGBTQ community and raising money and getting the information out about AIDS back in the eighties. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of like the fuel in the beginning. But now as I got older and was married and became a mom and finally uh, grew roots in my neighborhood, that's really how it evolved. As a kid, I always was the Pied Piper. Wherever we moved, I would tell you know the parents, "Oh, I'll take care of the kids so they could play, and the kids would call me." And because we always lived in buildings, and there was always that was a demographic that I could relate to. Was like I could talk to kids. Okay. Um, so I was always kind of a caregiver by nature, and. Through that, it, it evolved wherever I moved. I was kind of gravitated to like making sure kids were safe, kids were being well-rounded or mm -hmm. exposed to art, or if they needed an out, uh, being uh, you know just a situation. Maybe I should have gone into social work, but I don't think I have the tenacity or the bravery to keep that going. Mm -hmm. But that was the methanol, the, the ideology in my own head was always a, a, a relatability. Okay. How would you get the word out that you were doing such a thing? Because uh, you're doing it out of your own home, correct? Yeah. Okay. So my school is out of my own home. I've been here now in Ringwood for 30 years. I started off with my, when I had my first child. Uh, I babysat as I moved and was transient growing up, but when I finally met my husband and moved to Ringwood, he was a great inspiration. And I was that girl that was like, no, I'm not getting married. I'm not having kids. I'm mm -hmm. going to do my own thing. And then when I met him, you know, love takes a different turn. And um, I love the town. We used to come here as kids. I lived in an urban community in Passaic. So when I was a kid, I used to drive up here with my parents the drive in the country and we used to have picnics and I always loved it and thought, Oh, I'd love to live here and have something. It's so artistic. It's, there's so much history. Cooper Hewitt mm -hmm. was here, had his summer home. Um, it's 30 miles away from Manhattan. So it was far enough, but close enough to culture and being able to still stay relevant within my field. Mm -hmm. And I could do the work. And so what evolved with being involved with children was that I worked for the after school program 
and they trained me and I used to do art programs for the middle school kids out of one of the school and it kind of evolved I got the training and then that kind of evolved into um, going into physical fit, uh, training because of the fact that I had my own rehab to do from a very young age and always grew up having to have rehab all the time it was a natural progression as far as my art was involved and growth as uh, a mom and a human being and a partner was well why don't I get my certifications about health kinetics and diet and help kids because I had a kid and art. I mm -hmm. think it's all correlated. 